Hey there everyone, it's Thackard, and welcome back to another episode of our pacifistic playthrough in Survival Fountain of Youth. Okay, well, we have our base fully set up on the Red Island. We've gotten our armor so we can be safe from the heat. The only thing we have to do now is basically... Uh, Finish the storyline. We have our we have our wonderful little setup present and accounted for and ready to go. And the only thing we've had to kill the entire time is one boar for one skin. And that was it. We did have to beat a I don't know if it was the Jaguar. Can't remember who. Did have to beat something up a little bit, but they ran away and we didn't kill it, so we were still good. All right, so we have these sniffles, but outside of that, we are good to go. We have already made our copper ingot. We're going to need that for up ahead. But uh, we are actually sitting super pretty here. So let's go and... Well, it's so sad to say, you know, say, let's finish it all up, but I think that's kind of where we're at. So I'm going to bring healing supplies with me just because uh, I'm not. I'm concerned about some of the critters that we will not be killing, but will want to be killing us, you know, lots of Tigu over there, lots of, uh, Hang on a second. Let's grab some food. Lots of tigu. Right dates will work. Baked meat and clay. Something I've never had ever in any of my playthroughs. Alright. We are on the way. So yeah. All that we basically have to do is just complete the storyline. There are some cool things here on the uh, on the Copper Island. But, I mean, I have videos about things such as the, the hidden shovel and different stuff like that, so. We're just going to sail over here and we're going to walk up to the encampment. Do a lot of blocking on the way. All right. The biggest issues issue is there's a snake we're going to have to get past. It's always at the encampment. And I am not fond of it. Definitely not fond of it. I'm going to have to remember not to kill it because uh, whenever I am playing... Uh, whenever I've been doing my speedruns, I've done speedruns over on the uh, stream. If you would like to go and check some of those out, you can. Uh, they're in the uh, streams for, uh, would have been July, where I did the speedruns. Those were a lot of fun. Those were quite enjoyable. Something that I never done, you know, was a speedrun. I mean, like for... I don't think I've ever done that for, like, any game. I usually just sit back and enjoy the story. Uh, but... I asked for suggestions, and people said, try a speedrun. So I did. Alright. Got a couple Tigu over here we're gonna have to... Get past. Don't have to worry about the heating effects because we are completely protected with our armor. Wonderful stuff. Oh, bird. Snake. 
first snake. It's gonna be more than one snake. Alright, block the Tigu. We're gonna move away. More importantly is where's this snake? Over there. Alright. Moving past. So this is the encampment here. Wonderful little place. We have the map to the copper mine. We will have to go there. We already have the, all the copper we need, though. Of many members of the San Cristobal crew. Awesome. Okay. There's a lot of stuff here. I know people have just kind of set up in this area, and you can definitely do that, but one of the things you can also do is just break down all the equipment and take wherever you need. Just grab the resources. All right. The different search uh, parties that were set out. Now we have repaired the... I need a feather and ink. I left that on the other island. Really? Or did I use it? Interesting. Oh, okay. Feather and ink. Not too difficult for us to do. Snake. All right. Let's light this up. We'll make. Maybe I don't have a single one left. There's a snake over there. Stay away from it. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's just light this torch. It's starting to get dark. So I can have one with me. Alright, um. I'm assuming it's in the tools. Can't believe I forgot it over there. I feel so stupid now. Um, did I not? It has to be here. Okay, so I didn't. Hmm. Well, this is a thing. I might as well grab the book. All right, well. Going to have to do some stuff here. Okay, you can't miss me to where I can't block you. And then give me damage. Or me hit, making the hit, or making the block. Okay? Doesn't make any sense. You know what? Um, I did not bring my shovel with me now, so that's going to be a uh, a thing. Oh no, we can get some. There's some. Should be some on the ground up back here. So not that one. Should be over here. Uh, maybe. All right. Oops. 
Ouch. Alright. So not as easy as we had hoped. Because... We're over because I was a dummy. Oh, come on. Having me attack while in a... Unskippable cutscene? That kind of sex game. Wow. I mean, I don't need that. But I do need... Is this... Wow, okay, he didn't make any noise. Okay, would you guys please make the noises you're supposed to make? Alright. So we do have the clay that we need. I think I brought along some healing. Goodness. Never thought I'd actually need the crap. Do those replace each other? That better not. It's something I've never experimented with. to get oh come on the aggro for a second we need him to de-aggro so we can get the rest of these resources uh I'm trying to figure out there I know where there are some feathers but unfortunately oh, he still isn't the aggroed come on I don't want to have to kill you maybe it's the stupid tigus that are actually angry at me Just like de aggro for a second, dude. It will not de aggro. Might have to kill this thing. It won't de aggro. 
All right. Well, we're going to do this a different way. Do I have a rope? This is not how I intended to do this. But you know what? Sometimes you got to change up your plan. Just gonna have to adapt our plan because I think when we mapped the uh, I think what happened is when we mapped the when we mapped the other island, I used the uh, one piece of mapping stuff. Come on. All right. There we go. We're good. So, uh, yeah. If you're doing this, make sure you don't... You get... You basically get everything you need from the... Uh, from the Santa Maria, there is a, uh, you get a, uh, whatchamacallit, when you're on the Santa Maria, you get the, the feather and ink, but unfortunately, uh, I used mine somehow. Probably stupidly. So we're going to have to uh, get some more. Which means making some more. Come on. That snake was not there. Uh, we we looked, and that snake was not there. That snake just appeared in front of us, randomly. All right, got ourselves a mapping book. Well, now we have the blueprints. Man, there are so many of them. He goes everywhere. Nope. Leave me alone. Question is, did they have a chemistry workbench here? I can't remember. I don't think they did. And did it move the snake? Yes, it did. Game moved the snake. It had been right here, and they decided it was time for the snake to move for some reason. I uh, disagree with that being a thing they should have done. Should not have moved the snake. They moved it again. Oh, no, they didn't. Same spot. All right. So we have a tanner's bench. We have a skin dryer. We have a carpentry workbench. Some supplies. We have a snake that we can't kill, unfortunately. We have a regular workbench. We have a stump. We have a chemistry workbench. 
torch. No. Okay. If I'm remembering correctly, we do need chemistry workbench. Yes, yes. All right. We also need a thing for clay. We need a couple of things. All right. Oh, uh, Thackard. Next time, just don't be a dum-dum, and you'll be f absolutely fine. You know what? That's okay. I've never, ever built anything in this encampment. So you know what? We're going to do a little bit extra stuff that I've never done before. All right, so two split logs and a half log. Of course, I don't have my shovel, which is... I did leave it, but... Uh, in my defense, I didn't think I was going to need it. Yeah, unfortunately, when I used this, this canceled the other healing item, which sucks because the other one was a full heal. And while well, this one isn't. So never, never use two healing, uh, two different heals at the same time. You will not like the results. All right. Where is... Just looking for that snake, that's all. Hmm. Gonna need to make a saw blade. All right. And split logs. Okay, and one. That's a half log. Uh, if I had my shovel, we could just dig up that tree stump. But I don't. So that's unfortunate. So we're going to have to actually cut down another tree. Uh, as long as we're cutting down another tree, we're going to have to make our chemistry workbench again. Uh, chemistry workbench. There it is. All right, uh, gonna take this guy apart. Gonna move you over here. That gives us a lot of those pieces we need. Uh, split logs. This is only one split log. Uh, I don't think anything else around here was split logs, was it? Nope. So we're going to need to get two trees. Okay. Okay. They moved the snake again. Ow. Get away. I guess there's really don't want to cut down a strong tree. I guess I'm not actually going to use it, so. Okay, we looked up there. That snake wasn't there. Can't do anything because supposedly it... Shoo! I for crying out loud.
There we go. One of the two trees we need. Alright, you stupid piece of crap. So, we're going to do things slightly different here. Alright, we don't need that. There we go. And let's make these strips. Alright, so do we have everything we need now? Uh, we have... Alright, we got everything we need. Wonderful. We just need... Some more bits and pieces. There we go. Now we can make the feather and ink. Perfect. Oh, he's back over there now. And let's draw. Okay, well that took a little while longer than I was expecting it to, but you know what? It's okay. It's all good. Okay. Well, we have everything we need from here. Now we just need to... I don't need to see that. I already have all that stuff. Find the Windy Island. We found many an obsidian structure. Or not structure, mine. You know, the thing. I can't believe I wasted that. One item. Okay, on our way. Now when we get up here, I there are two really so we have our main storyline mission over here on Wendy Island, and there's also a huge part of the side story, the, the, the story of the the natives that lived on all these item, uh, islands. And there's a big story piece on this island with the, the underground cave system, which is really, really fun. Um, I'm not going to be doing that just because... Uh, Doing a pacifist run, I know there are two situations in there that I won't be able to get past stuff uh, because of that. Well, I might be able to, but it would not be easy going about it. At this point, most people have probably already played it, but in case... For some reason, you haven't gotten up to this part yet. I'll, I'll leave that to you guys because I really do find it quite entertaining and fun. I love the story and the side stories and all that stuff in this game. Great fun. Our right, baked meat and clay. Oh, that's wonderful for healing. Well, we're tired, so I'm just going to take a little nap here before we move on, just so I can do some... Oh, I have normal wounds. There we go. Alright. Just so I can heal up. It shouldn't make any difference. But, uh... 
And I didn't heal up anyways because I got the cold. All right. So, yes, it made no difference whatsoever. Actually, going to use that so we can heal up just a little bit more. All right. Excuse me, snake. We're basically going to follow the crabs around. Our athletics is high enough. We're basically the same speed as the crabs. I love at some point, once your athletics really gets up there, it's like you basically can outrun or chase down anything in the game. I love this structure. All right. I know exactly where we have to go to, but I'm going to uh, pick a side trip over here to the encampment. Cause this is just a cool looking area. This is where one of the sailors went to. This was their little place, also a booker, which is quite nice. But you can see this little settlement that was on the island. Obviously the big head statues and they have this entire setup. There was a giant windmill there. But out here in front of this big cave, they have this, speaking of cave, They have these giant wind turbines, basically. And the wind turbines are used to, not giving away too much of the story, but to pump out poisonous gas that leaks inside the mine there. There's a gas that is inside the, the caves. It's not quite a mine, but the caves. And they use these wind turbines to move the gas through the cave, which is just really, really cool. All right, so before the dog comes over, let's go and finish up the story here. Our navigator, Diego Nunez, arrived. Poor Diego Nunez. He was in the middle of his studies when the killer caught up with him. Killer? Looks like the first shot only wounded Diego. Poor Diego. He tried to escape. The second bullet killed him. Poor Diego. The poor guy didn't even fight back. What kind of monster could do such a thing? So he's kind of like us. He didn't fight back. We have completed the story in the Buffalo region. Ow. Really? You best watch it. I've completed the story. I don't have to be nice anymore. Come on. I've completed the story. Ow. Ugh. Well, might as well. All right, guys, that is the entire current storyline done in a completely pacifistic way. We took one critter's life because we absolutely had to but that was it so can you do this story up through the second region without killing anything yes you can except for that one piece of hide you need so outside of that one little story piece yes you can you can completely go through everything only using the wonderful block ability which is super overpowered so yeah you can do it it's great this was a lot of fun uh, this is right up there with doing the very hard one life mode both of those were quite a bit of a challenge i'm thinking of actually trying to do this pacifist run on a harder difficulty in the future just for the heck of it we did on normal i bet you could do it on hard 
Very hard would be a different story, but it always is. So. All right, guys, I hope you uh, enjoyed this series. Um, I will be coming back with some more guide content over the next couple of weeks, especially with the release of the new region here in August. And uh, after that, I might get into some more different playthroughs as well. Just kind of I'm looking for ideas to kind of make these interesting. So if you have any ideas on a nice little playthrough to do or a gimmick that you would like me to play with, make sure you leave those down below in the comment section. Also, make sure you guys come back here in the upcoming weeks and check out uh, the guide videos. I'm going to be doing some resource videos just so everyone can find things a little bit easier. All right. Y'all have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you all next time. Peace and love, y'all.